Look who's back. I didn't expect it. I thought she was on death's door. She's underweight. I need to try to pick her weight up. But she is walking and eating. She's just wobbly. I hope she makes another comeback. It's funny. I was really prepared to put her down. Because that's the direction she was going to in the vet. But now she's been walking all morning. And it's time to get some rest. I have to remember that she is 13 with cerebellar hypoplasia. So I think she's doing pretty good. She is very happy to see me. I think that's part of it too. If she's locked up in a cage, it makes her depressed. Just a quick update on my cat. I had high hopes, but there was bloody stool and she's bony. I'm seeing her spine and her leg bones are sticking out. When she's laying on me, she's losing weight. I've doubted her before she came back, but at 13 years old, I'm not sure if this will be a comeback. And I'm preparing myself. It's really stressful because everything I make on this busy time grass cutting is going to the vet. And it's making me angry, to be honest. It doesn't seem fair. My neighbor said they're prolonging it on purpose. I, that never crossed my mind. But maybe so. These garbage cans have a bad design. Everybody's losing the lids on them. And you leave them out, they fill up with water. So my solution is to drill holes at the bottom so they won't fill up with water. Let's try that. I'm always finding old stuff in this house, in the attic. Behind secret compartments, I found a coin collection, mostly dimes. Now I've found this old bottle. Looks pretty old, full of sprinkles. You can tell because the cap's faded. And the bottle. I don't want to jump the gun here. But there's no more bloody stool. And it looks like my cat's getting a little better. Maybe even gaining weight. I don't know anymore. I thought the cat was bony, bleeding, and that was it. I guess cats have a really amazing ability to heal themselves. I don't know how long it'll last, but at least it's some relief right now. This is how my mind works. Listen to the tempo of this turn signal. That's the tempo of my next song. This is a first. I knew the neighborhood was going bad. But this is the first time I've seen neighborhood cameras. Stay in at night around here. Every time the wind blows, I'm scared this big thing's gonna come down on my garage and may reach my house. I'll show you what almost hit my house. Well, if it would've hit the garage, I wouldn't spend the money to fix it because I don't have the money to fix it. Don't have the money to cut this tree down either. That's a big tree. This whopper right here. Barely missed. Look at my dog getting after that German Shepherd. <laughs> they just want to play. My doggies came to check on me. Help me cut up this big branch. The yo-yo health of my cat. Now she seems weak. Her spine's really showing. Her back legs are kind of giving out. I just don't know. I don't know what's going on with this cat. We're hanging in there, though. Major storm last night. I gotta find a way around this. 
Yep, that's right. It rained again and the internet went out again. Lovely. I have to say, I'm impressed with AT&T this time. I got a good person with customer service. And he sent me a modem the next day by FedEx. They don't even have to come in here. That's my preference. I like to hook it up myself. Great. Let's see if we can get this going. One day, not too bad. Back up and running. That red light will turn green tonight. It's still setting up. That's about it for this one. I'll check back with you in about a week. Take care.